Hey guys, I'm Matt, a developer from Ohio, and in this video I'll be walking you through the South Shipping project. To complete this project, you'll need to be familiar with functions, parameters, return values, and if, else if, else chains. Let's get started. In this project, we'll write a program that determines the cheapest shipping method between three options. Premium ground shipping is a flat price, drone shipping is priced depending on the package weight, and standard ground shipping is a mix of both. We'll write a function to calculate the price for each shipping method, then we'll write one more function to pick the cheapest option. The first method we'll handle is standard ground shipping. We'll write a function that takes a weight and returns the shipping cost. Let's define a new function with the keyword DEF, give the function a descriptive name, and pass weight as a parameter. So we'll DEF define, I'm going to call it shipping cost ground, and we'll pass in weight as the only parameter. This function will return a dollar amount based on this table in the project's introduction. We can translate the logic of this table into an if, else if, else chain to get the price per pound of any given package. So if the weight of the package is less than or equal to two pounds, then the price per pound is going to be $1.50. Else if the weight is less than or equal to six, then our price per pound is going to be equal to $3. One more else if with the weight less than or equal to 10, our price per pound is going to be equal to $4. And finally, else, if it's none of those above options, the price per pound in that case is going to be 475. And again, these are all just the values from this table. Now that we have the price per pound of the package, we can multiply that by the weight and add the $20 flat charge to get the total cost. So that'll be $20 plus the price per pound multiplied by the weight. And we'll use the keyword return to use this calculated amount as this function's output. So we'll just add return right here so that we're returning the final cost. It's always a good idea to test your functions. Task number two's instruction tells us that a package that weighs 8.4 pounds should cost 53.60 to ship with the standard ground method. If we print out the return value of shipping cost ground, we should get the same amount. So we'll use a print statement. And instead of that, we'll use our shipping cost ground and pass in 8.4. If you got some other amount than 53.6, check your code. It's better to fix it now than to wait until later. In addition to standard ground shipping, we need a function to return the value of premium ground shipping. Well, actually, we only need a variable for this because there's no logic needed. Premium shipping will always cost $125. We should still name it consistently with the functions because it'll be used alongside them. So I'll call this variable shipping cost premium. That's always going to be $125. On drone shipping. Like shipping cost ground, this function will take weight as a parameter and return a dollar amount. In fact, this function will be so similar that we can save a lot of time by copying shipping cost ground and changing small parts of it. So I'm just going to paste that in here. First thing we need to change is the name. Not only can you not have more than one function with the same name, but this one doesn't describe drone shipping. So I'm just going to change ground here to say drone. So our function will be called shipping cost drone. Next, we need to adjust the price per pound at each level to reflect the drone shipping table. I've gone ahead and done that off camera. Just make sure that you change each of these values to correspond to the table. Lastly, we'll remove the $20 flat charge that ground shipping had because there is no flat charge with drone shipping. So I'll go ahead and remove the 20 and we can also get rid of these parentheses. Just like with shipping cost ground, we should test our function to make sure it has the correct output. According to task number five, a package that weighs 1.5 pounds should cost 675 to ship by drone. So we will print shipping cost drone with 1.5 pounds, and we should see 675. Again, if your output doesn't show 675, there's something wrong in your shipping cost drone function. Make sure it's fixed before moving on. Now we can put our functions to use. For any given package weight, we'll figure out which shipping method is the cheapest. We'll make a new function that takes weight as a parameter and prints out a message with the best method and cost. So we're going to define print cheapest shipping method and pass in the weight. Note that I chose to give this function's name a verb instead of just calling it cheapest shipping method. When a function returns a value, you can name that function after the thing being returned, but unlike our previous functions, this one won't return anything. Instead, it'll print something. So it's print cheapest shipping method. Of course, this kind of semantic naming isn't a strict rule, so just go with your gut. Just keep in mind that it's always better to be overly descriptive than too vague. Let's write that print statement now. It needs to say which method is the cheapest and display the cost of that method. 
we'll use string interpolation to inject those values into a string. So we'll write a print statement, and we're going to add a string, something like uh, the cheapest option available is, uh, we'll put in the dollar amount. I'm going to use uh, this 0.2f to show that it's a float with two decimal places because that's how you display a dollar amount. And that will be with another string, which will be the name of the option, shipping. So for example, this might say something like the cheapest option available is uh, $10 with standard ground shipping. And then we need to uh, pass in those values. So we'll pass in the cost and the method. And that's the print statement done. To get the cost and method, we need to figure out which method is the cheapest. We'll use the functions we wrote earlier and save their outputs. I'm giving these variables shorter names because we'll be typing them several times each, and they're only going to be used in the context of this function. So above this print statement, I'm going to add ground equals shipping cost ground, and we're going to pass in the weight again. So ground here is going to be the number value, the price for shipping this package with this weight via standard ground. Then we'll also save premium as the shipping cost premium. And remember that we used a variable here instead of a function because it's always going to be 125. And finally, the drone is going to be shipping cost drone again with the weight passed in. And we're going to compare these values to see which is the lowest. We can use an if, else if, else chain to check each method for whether or not it's the lowest value. For example, if ground is less than premium and less than drone, then it's the cheapest of the three. So we'll write if ground is less than premium and if ground is less than drone. So if ground is the cheapest, we'll save this method's name and cost for use in the print statement. We'll save the method as uh, something like standard ground. This is just going to be the string that gets printed in our print statement right here. And we'll also save the cost as ground, which again is the value we were checking. It's the price of shipping this package with this specific weight with standard ground. If ground isn't the cheapest, we'll check premium. So else if premium is less than ground and premium is less than drone, then we'll set our method to premium ground and we'll set our cost equal to premium, which is going to be 125 in this case. If neither of those methods were the cheapest, then we can use an else statement because by process of elimination, drone is going to be the cheapest. So we'll say that the method is drone and the cost in this case is also going to be drone. The print cheapest shipping method function should do just that. Pick the cheapest method and print out the method along with the cost. Let's test it out using the weights given in task number seven. So we'll use our print cheapest shipping method function and we're going to pass in 4.8. And then we're also going to pass in 41.5. And you should see that standard ground shipping is the best option for a package that weighs 4.8 pounds, and premium shipping is best for 41.5 pounds. In this project, we used control flow, that's basically anything involving if, else if, else chains, to convert a pricing table into the logic of our program. Control flow is what allows a program to make choices based on conditions and react to input. Without it, any given program would only be able to do one thing. I'm Matt for Codecademy. Happy coding!